And welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and coming up I'm going to demonstrate how to use a cording foot. Here is what a cording foot looks like. It's quite short in the foot length and then it has one toe that it extends. Now on the left side of the foot is this band and the band actually holds the up to three cords in each one of these little small kind of uh, channels you can see and to the right of the foot is a opening which allows you to put the cords underneath the foot in order for you to stitch. I'll just show you the underside. That's what it looks like on the underside. So the channels of cords or ribbons or you know whatever it is you want to attach to your garment would run underneath these little grooves here. Here is an example of what a corded foot can do. Let's start with the first one. Um, I've used a uh, wool, balls of wool in order to do this but as I've said before you can use cord, you can use string so it's all about your project and what you want to apply to that project. Now the first one is a zigzag, narrow zigzag that gives this kind of look. The second I've used three different um, colourways here and I've done a wider zigzagging foot and the final one, the third one um, I've actually got a piece of string and what I did I put it into the middle channel and I created um, the zigzag stitch over that. This foot can hold three uh, cords or ribbons and I'm going to thread them through one, two and three little channels there. So what you need to do is get your wool, slide it under this groove and then pull it towards the back of the foot and then skip into each one of the channels. So that's one. You may have to wriggle it about a bit too. And final one, three. And then I'll do the same again for the other two. As you can see, I've now threaded the cording foot with three strands of wool. And I'm now ready to sew. I'm ready to start sewing onto my fabric. So I'm going to put it under the foot. Remember the foot is up throughout the whole process making sure you have long tails towards the back so that you can hold on to it if you wish. Put your foot down and hold your wool into position and then you should start sewing. So if you want to just hold or make sure that your hands are holding the tails at the back but don't pull. Do a zigzag stitch and I'm not going to pull it. My right hand is keeping control of the wall and my left hand is just gliding the fabric along. You're not pulling at all. Just let the machine do what it needs to do which is zigzag and keep them in place. As you can see it's a great way to add a decorative feature to any sewing project. So we've got the zigzag stitch stitching over all three to create that lovely um, finish to the right side. Let me just show what it looks like on the wrong side and all you have is a zigzag stitch. If you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. Do check out my other links below you'll find some fantastic information there. If you have any comments or views please put them in the comment box. We at Fashion Zone Blog would love to hear your views and I will see you next time.